wir... Ja, aber... Top 10 anime where the main character's little sister falls for him. Scenarios where the main character's sister does some suspicious things can be a bit weird. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through a weird top 10 list. We'll be going through the top 10 anime where the main character's little sister falls for him. Let's do this. Number 10. Yamada's first time. Also bagging along 12 episodes, this anime is about a teenager of 15 years who has recently transferred to Tazekawa High School. As expected, this lady is beautiful and has all the qualities a guy would want, but she has one thing about her body that she is insecure about. Her vagina. Yeah, I said it. She thinks it looks strange and it somehow reduces her self-esteem because she is always conscious of it. This girl also has a high school dream, which is to sleep with 100 men the moment she enters high school. But she is afraid of doing this because she feels a man with experience in sex would laugh at her vagina because of the way it looks. The fact that she is also a virgin makes her feel she would be a laughingstock to the non-virgins. She later finds a great opportunity to get rid of her virginity with another virgin called Takashi Kosuda because she believes he would make the transition easier for her. Although she wants this experience to go well, she has no idea of how to seduce a man, which poses another problem for her. So what will she do? Watch this incredible piece to find out. Number 9. Recently, My Sister is Unusual Released in 2014, January to be exact, this anime does not just have an erotic theme, but also a touch of the supernatural. This anime is about a family made of Mr. and Mrs. Kanzaki making attempts to start a new life, dragging two children, a boy and a girl, along with them. The girl in this family, called Mitsuki Kanzaki, is not so happy due to the numerous abusive and unavailable father figures that have come into her life. She rejects her stepfather and stepbrother, and she eventually gets into an accident and gets by the ghost of a girl called Hiyori, who was in love with Mitsuki's brother. Because of this, all of Hiyori's feelings become Mitsuki's feelings, and this starts an epic adventure of erotica and lust. Number 8. The Hill Died Rose Matter Alright, this anime was brought to life in October 2008. And although the anime is blessed with just 12 episodes, it does not lack comedy, harem, and romance every good anime of this manner needs to become a success. This anime is centered around a girl named Yuhi Katagiri, who is strictly supervised and monitored by her family. One day, this monitor streak gets destroyed when she decides to go home from school and gets bullied and picked by a group of boys. These boys do not bully her for long until a guy named Junichi Nagase rescues her. One of the boys recognizes him and they all run off considering the kind of reputation Junichi has. After rescuing Yuhi, she asks Junichi for his name, which he refuses to tell her. The thing about this guy is that he always has his regrets whenever he acts cool in front of pretty ladies. The next day, a new student joins Junichi's school. And this student, turning out to be Yuhi, addresses him as the Geno Killer due to the incident of the previous night. Because of the name she calls him, rumors start to spread and things escalate from there. Now I know what you might be thinking, who's the little sister in this anime and who did the little sister fall for? Well, I guess you'd have to watch the anime to find out. Number 7. Listen to me girls, I'm your father. This harem anime is about a guy called Yuta Segawa who just resumed his freshman year of university, opening a new door of multiple possibilities for himself. He and his older sister lost their parents at a young age, and his sister Yuri volunteered to take care of him instead of having him sent to a foster home. Many years later, his sister approaches him and requests that he takes care of her daughters, Yu and Sora Takanashi, because she wants to travel out of the country with her husband for a business trip. Although he unwillingly accepts, things take an uneventful turn when their plane goes missing and things escalate from there, as Yuta has to take care of the children on his own. Number 6. My Sister, My Writer With only 12 episodes, this anime is about an author named Yu Nagami, who partakes in numerous writing competitions and contests, although he does not win any of them. Although this guy keeps failing these competitions, it does not affect his mindset nor shake his aspirations of becoming a better writer. Well, I wouldn't want to be a killjoy and spoil how this one goes, 
because it actually is one of my favorites. But just know that things start falling into place for you and he is allowed to flaunt his writing skills. Number 5. My little sister can't be this cute. Blessing us with 25 episodes and infused with comedy, this anime is centered around the life of a student called Kirino Kusaka whom I think it would be safe to call the perfect student. I'm talking looks, grades, personalities, you name it. This lady also works as a model with her best friend Ayase Aragaki, and this one does not like liars at all. Although they are both friends, she has no idea of the sexual feelings her friend has. On one particular day, Kirino decides to have some fun and goes ahead to play an erotic game with her brother, and I'm sure you have a slight idea of what happens from there. Watching this anime also gave me a form of tension because some of the scenes were written in an unpredictable manner, which just gives it an all-round perfection. Number 4. Because I don't like my big brother at all. In this anime, incest and brother complex are so strong. They just might choke you till you can't breathe no more. This story is centered around a girl called Nao Takanashi, who has a goal of making her brother fall in love with her and see her as a proper woman. She is determined about this and goes to great lengths to make this happen. She also goes as far as throwing away his pornography that is not related to incest. While doing this, she finds a picture that catches her attention. Watch the anime to find out exactly what she saw. Number 3. MM This anime is about a high school student named Taro Sado who lives his life as a masochist, although he keeps that a secret from the public. This masochism is enforced in him by his best friend, Tatsukichi, who is a crossdresser. Taro falls for a girl and this motivation gets him to get rid of his masochistic attitude as he decides to ask a club known as the Second Voluntary Club for help. But on joining this club, he discovers that everyone seems to have issues of their own. The leader of this club is afraid of cats. The club's advisor is a sadist. Some of the other members also have issues they need help with. So what exactly would Taro do? I know you might be wondering where the part about sibling love comes in. Well, I won't tell you about that to avoid spoilers if you haven't seen it. But I'd leave you a hint. There's a relationship between the girl the main character falls for and his cross-dressing friend. Number 2. Erotic Manga Author Erotic Manga Author is another 12 episode anime that has a touch of comedy in it. Alright, not a touch of comedy, but more than a touch. Now this anime begins with a flashback of an event that occurred one year before real time. The story is about two step-siblings, Masamune Izumi and Sagiri Izumi, who lose their parents to an untimely death. The death of their parents destroys their family relationship. Because of this, Sagiri gets separated from her brother and develops antisocial behavior. Masamune gets a job as a novel author and he gets someone that illustrates these novels for him but he has never met such a person before. This guy called Eromanga Sensei is known for drawing the best erotica. Somehow as things escalate, Masamune finds out that his sister has been partnered up with Eromanga Sensei which opens up multiple doors of challenges that Masamune and Sagiri must overcome together. Number 1. It doesn't matter if he's my brother. Well, the title of this one basically embraces the entire concept of the anime. This 12 episode blessed anime is about a set of twins, Akito and Akiko, who lose their parents and are left with no other choice but to live with different families for six years. After this long period, they get reunited and start to live with each other, which slowly reveals Akiko's feelings of romance and wow, did not see that one coming. Anyway, her brother sees her as nothing more but his junior sister. And not long after that, three new girls move into their apartment and destroy Akiko's dreams and aspirations to live with her brother. To make matters worse, these girls also develop feelings for her brother which even further reduces Akiko's chances with her brother. In this apartment, a lot of fights on who gets Akito occur, backed up by a lot of seduction and erotica. I mean, he's just one guy. How do they expect him to handle so much alone? Alright, fellow geniuses, there you have it. Is there any anime you would have loved to see on this list? Don't hesitate to drop that in the comment section down below before you leave. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Fellow geniuses, I will see you in the next one.